Hey everyone, this is Key, and today I wanted to do sort of like a foundation review slash tutorial um, and give some swatches of a few foundations that I've checked out. So, first I have um, just a couple of tools other than foundation that I wanted to show you guys that I really like. Um, some of you have heard about this before. It is Pore Putty and Clear. Um, and it's a makeup base that I really like. I got it when I was in Japan. It wasn't very expensive, um, but was really good. And I always put this, it says, um, so this is about like, I would say $12 USD. Um, and I put this under my foundation um, and it stays all day. And it, most importantly, it always looks very fresh. Um, it looks like I just put my makeup on and um, I really like that. Uh, newly applied look because sometimes during the day it gets a little bit cakey but with this it's always good. The second thing that I use when I run out of this pore putty or I just feel like trying something different is the Laura Mercier foundation primer and this is pretty good too. I'm not a big fan of the smell. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's a very gel like consistency and so it feels really nice on your skin That's what it looks like, and when you blend it in, it's just very moisturizing. And this will also hold your makeup, your foundation, for the entire day. And so I like this one a lot also. I wanted to show you this foundation brush that I use to apply my foundation, and it's really nice. It's by Eco Tools. And this brush I got for like $6 when I was at the drugstore and it's really, really nice. I've washed it a few times already and it's really soft and it applies everything perfectly. And before I had this foundation brush, I didn't really think there was a difference between applying with your fingers and applying with this brush, um, or any brush actually, because it didn't seem like that much of a difference. But once I got this brush, I realized how much more blended your face looks when using good, proper foundation brush. And I like this a lot better than the ones that I've even gotten from Sephora. So it's a very good brush, definitely check it out. The next product that's not foundation I wanted to show you guys is just a translucent powder that I use to always set my foundation and I use that just with a powder brush or a kabuki brush and I have this which is um, Mineral Veil and it's by Bare Minerals. It's really nice. Probably shouldn't open it because it'll get all over the place but it just looks like this. Just help to set it a little bit. Um, it's not completely necessary but when I know I'm going to have a long day I always try to use it. So, okay, let's get started with the foundations. First, I'm going to start off with one that's not completely well known. It is the Origins Foundation. And this one's called Nude and Improved. And I have, so my skin tone is about like a NC20. I'm pretty light. So all of these colors that I have will be around there. I'm just going to do a swatch. And so this is... The Nude and Improved Foundation from Origins, and it is in the color Nude Beach, and it's $21, so the price is really good. It has SPF 15, it sounds really good, it's marketed to be really good, and I've tried it out a few times, and my honest opinion is that I don't like it so much. It just doesn't have a lot of staying power, um, and it feels very wet when it goes on but it dries up very quickly and so it is I mean it just doesn't do much for my skin like I could layer on a lot of it but it's not good so the only thing I really think it has going for it is that it's $21 but why pay for something that you're not going to really like so that's it I'm going to show it to you again and the next one I'm going to do is a foundation by Lancome they have a lot of foundations. This one is called Tint Miracle and my color is in buff. So I'm just going to use this brush and spread it out a little bit so you guys can see that. But definitely less pink colored as you can see than the Origins Nude and Improved. Um, this one also has, the Lancome one also has um, SPF 15 in it so really good for the daytime. Um, and it is $37, definitely a little pricier. It's um, The bottle is one ounce. It's a pump bottle though, so it's really nice and hygienic. 
it's supposed to have this new technology called Aura Inside which basically just is supposed to recreate this like natural lighting on your skin and it's supposed to look like you have this natural light coming from within. It has rose extract which is supposed to calm your skin and it's 37% pure water. So it's supposed to be very natural and it's definitely a little more yellowish but I like it a lot. The coverage is a little bit heavier than what I'm used to. It's, it's still not heavy coverage, it's more like medium coverage, but I definitely like this a lot. It's one of my favorites. $37 though, so a little bit on the pricier side. Okay, so next I'm going to go with a pretty celebrated foundation called Too Faced Amazing Face. I have this color in Vanilla Cream, which is the lightest that you can go. You guys can see that. It's the third one. It's the one that's right here. And this is a really good foundation. I like it a lot also. It's very popular. So I think it has this technology called Real Skin Technology. So it does exactly what it, it sounds like. It's supposed to be like a very natural, sheer kind of coverage and make you look like you have amazing skin. It's $36, so it is a little bit more expensive, but it, it's supposed to cover up all your pores and maximize um, this look of like airbrushed skin that you have. So you guys can see that. And it has light diffusing particles in it. It's not shimmery at all, which is nice. It's a little bit more yellow, but I like this a lot. Next, I'm going to talk about Clinique foundation. I have two of them. They're both supposed to be for normal to dry skin. The first one I'm going to talk about is Moisture Surge. And this is new. It's $24.50 for one ounce. My shade is shade one. Um, they don't come in very many shades, which is definitely one of the downsides of this foundation. But it's supposed to be a replacement for Clinique Almost Makeup Foundation. And here you guys can see that. And this one is also supposed to be very natural and hydrating. It's oil free and it comes in six shades, which might be a little tough for people who don't automatically revert to one of the six shades. You might have to mix colors and things like that. That's definitely one of the complaints that I've heard. But it does have SPF 15 in it. So how does it actually play out on my face? I don't really like it and I'm really sad because the next foundation that I'll show you guys it's also by Clinique and it's called Super Moisture. This one's called Moisture Surge but I really don't like it. It makes my face look very cakey after a couple hours. It's not that moisturizing even though they market it as Super Moisture which the moisturizer I actually really like so I'm not a big fan. Next I'm going to do a swatch for you guys in one of my favorite sheer foundations and I think it might even be my absolute favorite it's called super moisture and I'm really sad because a lot of the times when I go to Nordstrom Sephora doesn't even carry this but they don't have it or they'll have it in the back and I'm not sure why that is because I it's definitely one of my favorite foundations it's the one that's right here right there and this one is supposed to be for dry to very dry skin and I have pretty dry skin but it's very sheer it's $24 it, the best part about this and I don't know if I've said this before but I love dewy skin I love that like radiant look where your skin is just glowing and people come up to you and ask what are you wearing you know because they think that you must be wearing something special and this foundation definitely gives it that look it's my go-to foundation that I would probably pick if I just had to pick from any of them it's from sheer to medium coverage um, but just really nice and it's not too yellow it's not too pink it's just really really nice so I like that a lot and this um, let me see what color I am so I'm in Super Moisture number 3, which I think is called Ivory. I can also wear number 2. It's a little bit light on me, but that is called, the color is called Fair. So that's really nice. I like that one a lot. Next, I'm going to show you guys Tinted Moisturizer, actually, from Hourglass. And it's also a really, really popular. It's not really like a tinted moisturizer, it's more of a light foundation, I would say. And it definitely holds all day, which is really, really great. Here, 
it's right there. Um, it's the second one right there. And I like this one a lot. It is unexpected. I didn't think I was going to like it so much. It's for normal to dry skin. It has SPF 15 like the others. But what's really great about this is that it's, it doesn't have anything like, it has no preservatives, no artificial fragrance. <laughs> that was not smart. I sniffed up all the foundation scents. Um, and one thing to note about this Hourglass Tinted Moisturizer is that it has anti-wrinkle effects and I think it even has anti-aging products in it. It's supposed to lift your skin and um, decrease your wrinkles by 3%. Um, so I think it's for women ages like 25 and up, whereas the Clinique Tinted Moisturizer, which is the uh, Moisture Surge, the one that I don't like, I would recommend for younger women, uh, maybe girls in their teens just starting out foundation because it's very light coverage. I'm using the color Shell right there. And it has no parabens, no sulfates, anything like that. Um, and it is $55 for this little pump glass. And the actual bottle looks very sparkly, but don't worry, it's nothing like that. And it doesn't look that sparkly on your face. It's really nice. It's not shimmery. It does give a dewy look, which, as I said before, I really like. So I would give that one a thumbs up. And lastly, I'm going to do a very celebrated... Um, foundation has won tons and tons of awards and I was really excited to try this out. I have it in two shades actually. Um, and that is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and it's supposed to make your skin look like silk. I'm going to do it in the lighter shade which is number four but the texture of the foundation is what struck me at first because it's very 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 liquid. It's very viscous and um, it is it's just like fluid. I mean, it's almost like touching like a gel instead of an actual foundation. It's right there. That's the color. It's an oil-free liquid. It's completely weightless. It's supposed to be very hydrating and it's for sheer to moderate coverage. When I was at Nordstrom's buying this, they said that the coverage can be layered on and so the first layer is very sheer but you can definitely layer on, which I can attest to. It's really true. Sometimes I'll put like two or three layers on a spot that's a little bit redder and it definitely blends in, looks really natural and gives a very dewy look. So I would say that it is a little overhyped though. I like the Clinique, the Too Faced and the Hourglass maybe even better than I like the Armani. You can see that right there. It's supposed to give you a radiant and airbrush look which I think it does more than the average foundation, but not more than the other three that I really liked. It's also a little on the pricier side. I believe it was like $59, which is not something that I want to pay for a foundation that I think I could get um, with just the Clinique Super Moisture for like $24. So this is number four. This is number five. Um, number five is a little bit darker. I'm sort of in between the two. Feels really good on your skin. It's really moisturizing. But um, yeah, I would probably go with the other one. I'm just going to blend out one of the foundation so you can see how great this brush is. So I just use the foundation and I foundation brush and I just like pat it. It looks really natural. Flip it over and do the same. There you go. And you can see just how good applying with the brush is. Everything, and I didn't even, I just patted it. I didn't even brush it. I didn't even um, smooth out the strokes. So get this brush. But yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial um, slash review. I'm actually not wearing any of the foundations right now. I had somewhat of an allergic reaction to moisture surge, I think. Another reason why I don't like it. But you guys should test out some of the ones that I said. I hope this was helpful and definitely comment if you've tried any of the foundations or plan to. Okay, thanks guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.